I look at the map and I see that, wow, um, some of this is obscured, but I can see where some of it is. It's, um, I must see at least 60% of this map and I know where I'm going through. It must all lead there to the center. We talked about that. It all led to the center. Yeah, well, what's there when we get there? Well, if I can, I'd like to roll to see, should I roll a 20-sided dice or should I keep rolling six-sided dice? Only the spider knows. Um, roll an eight and roll a, roll an eight. I'm, I'm just going to roll, uh, uh, I'm going to roll opposing dice. Um, well, no, I'm going to roll a 20-sided die. And the first roll I roll, it should be 28 times two, which is 28 is seven times is is about four times something. It's four times seven. Well, let's do it where we don't have to do any math. Well, it's forty nine percent. It's like I have to roll more than uh, yeah, yeah. more than we ten. Here. What's the estimate that you, we find our way through the crypt? Yes. How about this? Yes. Uh, take a twenty sided dice that that is the crypt and its difficulty. Yes. And think of it as a counter and put it at 15. Okay. How many of us are there? Hang on, let me figure that out. Let me find the 15 first. It's hard to find this stuff. Okay, 15. Uh, how many are we? We are Isabella, Cassandra and Tobit, Satame, Mir, Penn, and the Spider, no, and, and the Tardigrades. There, so there's no... There's no and there's no Santa Mayor near. Santa Mayor near is gone? Yeah, they've been gone. They're still in Miltia. They don't leave. How about Penn? Is he around? Yes. So Penn, four, there's four humans and one spider and, and seven tiger grades. And you said you had an eight-sided dice? Yeah. Okay, so maybe two of us are a little more intelligent. Use two eight-sided dice. Okay. And get more than eight fifteen. And two six sided dice, and roll them together to get more than fifteen. Okay, here it comes. Two, seven. Seven, six, seven, eight, eight and five. I got thirteen, friend. Thirteen. Yeah. So close. Very close. So maybe describe how close it looks. You know, we're going toward the center where there was it, the it, constant it, image. Fire, yeah. Constant image of the woman of the universe being attacked by the red dragon and this move this kind of like roll like kind of like a rolling tape loop of that chapter chapter twelve from Revelation with with uh, hardly far holding it, you know, kind of in a way. But we're like on our way to a maze to that section of the world of this place, but we didn't get as far as we could. And this is where you come in to say anything you want. So what's, what are we doing? Are we fighting how many far? I don't know if we have enough to fight how many far, just storyteller to storyteller. I don't know. I mean, you even could. Even if we did, even if we did, uh, uh, Will I ever get back to Chicago? He wants to go back to Chicago. Can he just go back to Chicago? Well, do you want to? And let me ask you this. Okay, you want to go back to Chicago? How would you do it? Everything else has worked so far. I've been just drawing it. Okay. Uh, I draw... I draw the Chicago red line stop off Belmont next to Demon Dogs. Uh, 
Um, let's see. You're in the, you're, you, you, what's happened is, um, you open your eyes, and there you open eyes there, and you're in your room right now on the phone, and there's a picture of demon dogs floating around in between where you are and where the characters that you left in the space who still are there. You That's look through the picture, you look through the picture. You look through the picture of the demon dogs, and you see beyond it, like a like a cellophane over it, like an overhead projector over it. You see the crypt where the, where the three characters still are, along with the spider. And you are where you are in your room right now, looking through that demon dog cellophane hologram. And if you reach through it, you can grab a hot dog right now, but you might have to eat it in there. That's uh, it. I asked, hey, it's been a chill bit. Do you guys want anything? A hot dog? You want like a sandwich? You any, you, any of you hungry? Oh! <laughs> and you see them fade? And you see it like an old fashioned, like, did you ever see the, 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 um, Klaus Nomi, uh, Do You Know Me video? From the 80s? Okay, well, there's this one part where they take the, the screen and it fades out in this really cool way. Anyway, they fade out like that. And you're sitting in your room now, talking to me in my room now, and those people have... Something happened to them in the crypt. Oh, that sucks. This doesn't mean they're gone. It means that they're, like, they're battling or something's happened. And also the... And they could probably still talk to you, but you'd have to find a way to talk to them. As in? You see where the demon dogs, the hot dog was, there's a book that has a picture of a hot dog on it. Yeah. If you open it, a hot dog will be there. And if you put, turn a page, it'll be a different kind of sandwich. In fact, there'll be every sandwich that was ever made in Chicago from the 1800s on. Okay, this is great, but this isn't technically what I wanted here. What I needed, to, what I what I wanted to know, because I don't think I can get this in my room. I don't want to know. Yeah. What works and what doesn't work. I didn't want them to disappear. No, they haven't disappeared. You've just lost their dimension. If you can find a way back to the dimension or find a way to contact them. They're not gone. They're just, we're not in their dimension right now. We're right now talking to each other here. So, in, in this sense, I am a, am a dimensional traveler. You really are, yeah. And, and I, mean, I, mean, I, I am too. I have kept my identities in the world we just left, the fictional world. You're the first person to leave this fictional world. In fact, this is the first time in a couple of years your character has gone back to the real world, which happens to be where you are right now. And if you, you know, the, I, I'm playing all the way with it. I'm putting myself where I am too. Like we both zipped out of that world into here, but we can pick it up at will and go back to it um, if we want to. It might be cool to be like, to pause it here or to decide in the next couple minutes what we're doing because we've already got 44 minutes. Don't That's feel cool. bad, we're just, put, we're just playing. Just a little bit, go outside and have a cigarette. In which, which I'm doing. Nice. If only I live close to the demon dogs, so I do not. That sounds like that sounds like a place to end on the thought of that.
That sounds like that sounds like a place to end on the thought of that. If if it wasn't copywritten, I'd play Chicago music because Chicago was always being played the Demon Dogs and Fullerton and Sheffield all the time. Yeah, a little just a, a little almost felt like uh, Penn gave up and went back. Right. But it's kind of cool now because you can at will decide next time we play, we'll start out with you and then we'll jump back in however we want to. We'll find a way. <laughs>